The most critical is the escalation is continuing, the aggression is continuous with the absence of the international uh, community to put the pressure on Israel to stop this massacre. This is the most important thing that the, the aggression is on Gaza and as well the escalation in West Bank. So many people killed, farmers are prevented to go to, go to their fields. Uh, all the cities are isolated in West Bank. So it's terrible and the most terrible thing is to cut the, uh, the the money which is you know uh, belong to the Palestinian Authority that comes uh, that Israel collect on behalf of the Palestinian Authority from taxes to cut it you know and not transfer any single penny to the Palestinian Authority as a punishment. This is incredible. This is unbelievable. More than half of the hospitals out of services. Uh, and the rest that uh, already either threatened, you know, to, to be evacuated with thousands of people, you know, among them uh, children, women, uh, elderly people. And uh, they are uh, functioning in a very, very, very low capacity. They don't have, you know, uh, medicine for serious uh, illness. They don't have the tools. They don't have uh, electricity. They don't have fuel. So they are working in a very low capacity. Now we are talking about about 8,500 people killed. But the true number nobody knows because there are many people under the rubble. And you know, we don't have the tools, we don't have the facilities to dig, you know, under the rubble and to find, you know, uh, how many people killed uh, and how can we count, you know, according to the statistics, it's like, you know, about 2,000 under the rubble. More than 1,100 uh, out of uh, the 2,000 are children. And of course, many of them women, but we really don't know the exact number when we talk about 8,500 people killed. Among them, more than 3,500 children, about 2,000 plus uh, women. We have about 1,000 elderly, those old people. So the suffering of uh, this aggression is uh, the women, children, and the elderly people. If we talk about, you know, what was leaked yesterday from Israel, the plan of Israel is very clear. Ethnic cleansing for the whole population in uh, Palestine, starting from Gaza. It's like to ethnically cleanse uh, 2 million point uh, 300,000 Palestinians. And that uh, there were documents leaked yesterday and it was very clear. So this is a, a real problem. They started with uh, this brutal aggression, with the airstrike, with the bombardment of uh, the Israeli occupation on civilians, on hospitals, on schools, on churches, on mosques, you know. They are destroying the infrastructure, you know, as a whole, you know. It's a, it's a complete destruction, what's going uh, on in Gaza, hoping you know, to uh, put the pressure on, uh, on the Palestinians to leave Gaza and go to Sinai, which is not acceptable at all, neither from us as Palestinian leader or from the population. They are resilient, they are attached to their countries, to their land, to, them, to, to their homes. To be very frank, no one will be benefiting from this war. It's a lose-lose situation because Palestine is Palestine. Palestinians will not move any, anywhere else. We are very attached to our country. And you know, the history was very clear. We don't go, and we are not planning to go anywhere. We love our land. We love it in any way. So the loser at the end, I think, is Israel, not us.